Last week, Elon Musk tweeted that it might be time for consumers to switch to Linux. This message was the billionaire's reaction to the new AI tool introduced by Windows called Windows Recall. But what exactly is this new functionality? Why does it provoke such strong reactions? And given Elon Musk's prominent figure, what hidden intentions might he have with his message? Does it truly benefit the Linux community? Just two weeks ago, Microsoft held a small event where, among other things, they presented their new Copilot Plus computers. These new machines will be optimized for AI use and will come with a powerful AI of the same name. Additionally, Microsoft unveiled some new features coming to Windows 11 with the help of AI, including Recall. According to Microsoft, Recall will be like having a photographic memory in a way that feels natural to you, which is revolutionary. We won't need to set reminders, notes, send emails, or save bookmarks anymore, as an AI will remember everything for us. We'll just need to ask it using natural language, and it will help us recall and retrieve what we did. But what's the cost of this? Obviously, there's a significant storage cost. However, according to Microsoft, it could be as low as 25 GB every three months. There's also a computational cost. Not just any machine has the power needed to process so much data. That's why the announcement was accompanied by the introduction of AI computers equipped with powerful NPUs, neural processing units. These NPUs are the equivalent of a traditional processor or CPU but optimized for AI. However, the real cost of this tool isn't in the hardware, but in the absolute loss of privacy. To have a tool like Recall, Microsoft's proprietary software, whose inner workings are unknown to us, needs to constantly take snapshots of everything you do on your computer. I don't know about you, but to me, this sounds like something straight out of Black Mirror. But don't worry, according to Microsoft officials, we have created Recall with responsible AI principles and aligned it with our standards, which makes me wonder about the current level of Microsoft's standards. They also add that Recall will be private, local, and secure, running on the device. We will not use any of this information to train our AI models. But of course, you now have to trust Microsoft. To further convince us, the company clarifies in its FAQs that you can limit what snapshots Recall takes, select specific apps or websites to filter the snapshots, that the activation of snapshots is optional, and that you can delete them. No snapshots are taken during private sessions with Edge or from DRM-protected content, meaning movies and series you watch. Nevertheless, Recall does not hide information such as passwords or financial account numbers. These data could be included in the snapshots stored on your device, especially when sites do not comply with standard internet protocols like password input obfuscation. Again, this is not my opinion. I'm directly quoting Microsoft spokespeople. Unsurprisingly, the criticisms came quickly, from social media to state authorities. For example, the UK authorities have already contacted Microsoft to learn more about this functionality. On X, one user summarized recall as follows. Satya Nadella says that Windows PCs will have a photographic memory feature called Recuerdos that will remember and understand everything you do on your computer by taking constant screenshots. This message was then shared by Netcap Girl, adding, as if we needed more reasons not to use Windows. In response, Elon Musk said, maybe it's time to move consumer desktops to Linux. Considering that Elon Musk is one of the richest people in the world and a widely recognized figure with over 185 million followers on X, if you like this content and want access to much more, I want to share that I've just received the exciting activation of the YouTube Partner Program. Since I started this channel, I've been uploading videos every day. But from now on, I want to offer even more value to my loyal followers. Therefore, I've decided to post three videos regularly for everyone and another three exclusive videos for members. I'm excited about this new stage for the channel and hope to provide quality and valuable content to all of you. Thank you for your unwavering support, and I hope to see you in the new videos. Let's continue to discuss whether this message benefits or harms the community. I think we need to understand what motivated Elon Musk to write it. Seeing that he supports Linux-based systems, one might first think that the billionaire is genuinely concerned about user privacy and believes that free software is superior to proprietary software, particularly that GNU Linux systems are superior to Windows or Macos. However, this seems a bit naive. Let's remember that Elon Musk owns X, a social network that is not open source by any means. Although it's true that the billionaire has done much to defend free speech and combat censorship on his platform, it's not clear that he has the same interest in privacy. 
Moreover, this man also owns Tesla, the electric car company with proprietary software, where you have to pay to unlock certain functionalities physically built into your car, such as heated seats. Of course, if instead of paying for the official software to unlock these features, you change the software in your car, remember it's your car, to one that heats the seats, the company will stop supporting your vehicle. Given this, it doesn't seem that the defense of free software and private property are of special interest to Elon Musk. Perhaps a more mundane reason for his comment is the anger the owner of X felt a few months ago when he bought a laptop with Windows 11 pre-installed. Like all users, he couldn't use Windows 11 without creating a Microsoft account, thus giving access to the company's AI co-pilot. Of course, his complaint was legitimate. Microsoft's conditions are an abuse. It's not far-fetched to think that, as a result, Elon Musk has it in for Bill Gates' company. Additionally, being the eccentric that he is, enjoying picking fights with other rich men for the spectacle or simply to attract attention, it wouldn't be surprising if he's trying to provoke Bill Gates to see if he responds and they create the next controversy. In any case, it seems clear that Elon Musk does not and does not intend to commit to the ideas of free software. Come to think of it, why would he? However, the mere fact that someone with his media presence mentions Linux as something good, positive, and a viable alternative for Windows users. What do you all think about this? Do you believe it's good that someone as controversial as Musk mentions Linux? Or do you know other reasons that might have driven him that I might have missed? Leave it in the comments. There's always someone who surprises me with information I didn't know. And that would be all. If you liked the video, I would appreciate it if you shared it and left your opinion in the comments. And to you, the viewer, I sincerely thank you for taking the time to enjoy it.